Hey guys, and welcome to episode 19 of my Iron Man series. So this time around, it's going to be a lot of questing. You can probably tell by the title, there's going to be a lot. So I'm thinking about going and completing everything for Recipe for Disaster. That would be amazing if I did it all in one episode. So yeah, let's get this shit going. First though, I got to do four quests before I can even attempt that monster that is Recipe for Disaster. So first up, we have to do Horror from the Deep. What the hell? It's not even switching colors. I, I guess I only need air spells? Well, thanks to that, I got two quest points, and I also get a god book, which right now I obviously have no pages for. I only have the armadal pages from two episodes ago, but for now I'm going to get Zamorak, because I kind of like that one, and I don't really see myself using any of these anytime soon. I know that they're pretty decent, but eh, let's go to the next quest. And that happens to be Temple of Ikov, which last time I've done this was on my old school account when that first came out. And I don't remember it being any good. Cool, done with that. I forgot how much range experience you got from this. And I could have done this so much earlier. That would have helped me get my range training um, up and running. But anyway, now it's time to do some desert treasure. Easy. Easy. Easy? Easy. Alright, I got all of the diamonds from those boss fights. And I went through the pyramid maze. So it's time to be done with this quest once and for all. There we go. It wasn't all that bad. I mean, as you saw, the fights were a joke as usual. But like all around, it only took me like 45 minutes. And yeah, now I can use ancient magics. Which I really don't see myself using until maybe like Muspa. Because, you know, you get the double damage when you're using Ancient Magics there. It's just, at least right now, normal magics do everything I need. And I don't really care for the teleports. Lodestones, man. The teleports don't really matter. But what's more important about this quest is I now have the Ring of Visibility. Which I'll talk about in just a second. But I also have the Bandit Camp Lodestone. Which will be super useful for, like, Kelphite tasks and future adventures in the desert. Um, so, yeah, we need to now do the Legends quest, and then we can actually start on that recipe for disaster garbage. But first, I want to do a quick mini quest using the Ring of Visibility, like I mentioned. Let's go. Yep, okay. So I just have to kill five of these priests and get their bones and bury them. And this mini quest is Hope Spear's Will. If you're wondering, you can look it up. But yeah, I got all of the bones here, and I'm going to bury them in the Goblin Land. I don't know what it's called. It's like Ubiesks or something fucking stupid. But yeah, you get 13,750 prayer experience, and it's also a completionist cape slash master quest cape requirement, so well worth doing. Now it's time for the Legends quest. Yes, got the gilded totem now, and we're done with the quest. <sighs> Another long one finished. Got myself like 30,000 herblore from it as well, and four quest points, which just obviously puts me closer and closer to while Gothic sleeps. And interestingly enough, I am 800 experience off the herb level, so let's quickly knock that out. Cool, 81 herb lore. But yeah, as I said, the four quests are done, so it's finally time to take a stab at Recipe for Disaster. I'll probably just update you guys with one quest at a time, or I mean sub-quest at a time. There's what, like eight of them I have to do, not including the final boss fight. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I do remember reading like something on Reddit or Twitter where someone finished Recipe for Disaster, like, the entire thing in, like, 35 minutes or some bullshit. How the fuck do you do that? I, I don't know, but <laughs> hopefully we can maybe do it in, like, two, three hours. Okay, time to actually start. I forgot that I had to get a grown cat for the Evil Dave part of the quest, so I'm growing one now and saving his subquest for last. You don't really have to do them in any particular order, apparently, so... Yeah, getting a full-grown cat is like two and a half hours. I just have to continuously feed this. I'm using some rock tuna that I have. And yeah, you just have to make sure you pet it every now and then so it doesn't leave you. Done. Got 1,000 cooking, crafting, and farming. And I actually leveled farming. Okay, that, that was surprising. But I remember doing this on my Hardcore Iron Man back in the day. I think I did it, at least. Like, I remember this quest specifically and i remember it with good graphics so it couldn't have been on old school 
It had to have been on my old uh, Hardcore Iron Man. I don't remember it. I never finished uh, Recipe for Disaster fully on that account, so I'm, like, really confused. Did I just do part of Recipe for Disaster and then, like, stopped? It's really confusing me. I'd have to, like, recheck my old series. I don't know. Okay, Numotsfai complete. Only six to go. Let's keep it up. And this one is so easy. I just finished the Lumbridge Sage. All you have to do is literally just answer questions and you're good. So, thank you. And the fourth one is done. Essentially halfway done with the uh, full quest. But uh, I just was doing the quicker ones earlier, so we're probably not halfway. Here's your stupid bird. Thank you. Five down. Boom. Ceramic Vars. You good, mate. Great thing about this one is I need this part specifically for the love story quest, which I should do soon, simply for the experience I get. You get like 50,000 uh, smithing and like 50,000 crafting or something like that. It's like really, really good for the annoying skills. All right. After burning my first snake, as you can see in my inventory, fucking piece of shit. Uh, for some reason, even with the cooking gauntlets and 82 cooking, I, I don't understand how that burned itself. Uh, yeah, I finally have my stupid food to give this piece of shit. Cool, 10,000 agility, I'll take it. All I have to do left is the Evil Dave part, but my cat is still sitting at 75% growth. What do I do? Thinking I should probably do some quick uh, short quests while I wait. Well, that was quick, like five minutes quick. I just did Scorpion Catcher, which is where you gotta catch, like, three scorpions all around RuneScape. Like, it's super simple for, like, some stupid mage on the uh, Sorcerer's Tower or whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's the one with the four magic trees. Yeah, you get 6,000 strength experience and some quest points. Speaking of easy as hell, I just finished Clock Tower, which has probably the worst reward in all of RuneScape. 500 Coins. I think I would make more money pickpocketing men with one thieving without a mouse. What the fuck? Anyway, Hazil Cult is done as well. I was just looking down the list of the quest guides and just looking at any fast quests, and this one just popped out to me. And I also got to do this way in the future for Ritual of the Majorat, so I thought I should do it now. And I think I have time for one more short quest before we have to go finish Recipe. So, let's do Devious Minds. I gotta do this one for Ritual of the Majorat as well, plus the uh, Curses quest. It should only take me like 5-10 minutes. Nice to be done. But yes, my cat is now fully grown, as you can see. And yeah, let's go do the Evil Dave quest. Or mini quest. Sub quest. Piece of shit. Evil Dave, eat your damn stew. Here we go. It's time for the final boss fight of Recipe for Disaster. Oh man, it's gonna be so challenging. What in the fuck was that? Oh my god, I remember this actually being challenging in old school, or at least pre-AOC. Anyway, whatever, we're finally done. No more games, recipe for disaster, never again. For the rewards, I got a 20k lamp that I used straight on Herblore, of course. And yeah, let's go buy the Barrows gloves. I haven't checked their stats or anything, and I don't remember if they were buffed after EOC. Like, when EOC first came out, uh, Barrow's gloves, I think, were changed into tank gloves, which, as you probably can expect, um, is garbage. It means they had no more uh, offensive bonuses anymore, so hopefully that's not the case. Let let's check. And eh, that's alright, I guess. Um, it should be an upgrade to my uh, rock shell and spined, but it's not as good as my lunar armor. Which is kind of a shame, but, you know, I'll find some uses. And it looks like they did uh, make it power armor-based, uh, finally. I don't know when they did that. Probably a couple years ago. Whatever. But, you know, I, I have no use for Bearer's Gloves on my main account, so I had no idea. But, you know, they're cool regardless. And it's it's nice nostalgia. Because you guys know, Bearer's Gloves used to be the pinnacle of RuneScape. <laughs> like, you know, everyone wanted those Bearer's Gloves because they were so damn good back in the day. Okay, so seeing as I've done so much questing in this episode already, we're probably nearing the end of how much I want to achieve in this video alone. Like, Recipe for Disaster took a lot out of me. Questing really does make you feel the grind, but I do enjoy it, I really do, because it makes you feel like you're getting so much progress um, 
you know, on your account. So now that we're done with that, we need to set another, you know, either mini goal or just go straight for my major goals right now. And uh, I'm just thinking maybe I should go get the enhanced Excalibur. Um, I've been talking about it, I think, every now and then on this series. If I haven't mentioned it, it's really, really good uh, because it gives you a uh, healing special attack, which requires the hard Sears village tasks. I'll meet you when I figure out what I need. Damn, 75 prayer, another Elf City milestone needed. After getting that agility done last episode, we're getting a lot of this checked off. And I'm currently sitting at 6 out of 10 of the 75 skills I need. I just need 75 construction, crafting, mining, and summoning. So I actually have a dedicated roadmap uh, on how to finish this, but I'll save that for uh, myself. I'm not going to spoil you guys. But uh, I do have all this planned out. We're going to get Prif uh, within a couple more episodes. I am so excited. First, though, we just mentioned I do want to get the uh, Enhanced Excalibur, so let's work on that. Okay, I just got enough stuff for the third ship in player-owned ports. You just need uh, 3,000 bamboo and 4,000 black slate to upgrade your office in order to unlock it. So, yeah, this is going to speed up my ports progress considerably. I mean, technically one one and a half times faster. Ports is a very long thing, so anything to help speed it up is nice. Damn, my oyster loot is so consistently bad it it legitimately hurts like it hurts at least the experience here is nice whatever turns out the hard sears tasks i'll need 80 fletching good thing i've been buying a lot of daily broad arrowheads and feathers over time so i don't have to uh, worry about getting that i have it all banked only problem though is i need to unlock the ability to actually make the broad arrowheads which costs 300 slayer points and you know guys last episode i just bought the automatic killing thing with the gargoyles and the hundred points to prefer that task so i'm not really good on uh slayer points right now so it's time to return to slayer again i need to make a lot of money too for construction uh in the future so why not i do have the gargoyle task that i ended on last episode the back-to-back -back one so let's do that quick and as i said last episode they are so nice i could do these guys all day that sounded really really fucked up anyway uh next task is dust devils i think it'll be better than steels i really don't like banking the dragon bones i know it's not a requirement to do that but i just feel the need to if i ever do a dragon's task especially on this account whoa no way i was doing my daily jack of trades run and i caught a magpie impling and look what i got i got a nature tiara now that might not seem like much to some of you but just know that a nature talisman on an Iron Man is rare. You have to camp for it, and it's kind of painful. And I just was kind of putting off doing that for a very long time. I, I wasn't going to go for it. And the reason why you want one is to fill your wicked hood. So you can, you know, go into the nature altar, obviously. And once you have all the talismans in your wicked hood, I think I've mentioned this before, but you get pure essence instead of rune essence every day. So I can do my daily... Uh, Wicked Hood on better runes. So we just finished the Nature Talisman right there with a magpie. Uh, the tiaras do work, so there you go. We're only missing the Blood one, uh, which I will get when I go for the Sun Spear, because I get that from the Legacy of Seergaze quest, which is right before Bla uh, Branches of Darkmire. Whenever you guys see good implings and you have the level for it, catch them, especially if you're an Iron Man. You never know what you're going to get. Look at those levels. Just in this Dust Devil task alone, I got four I was super close to my ranged level, so initially I just ranged them, uh, which I would not recommend. And then I just finished it up with Mage. So these levels are all pretty much uh, super useful. Let me explain. So 78 ranged is a requirement for the Sun Spear. So another one done. And actually it's the last combat one I need. Additionally, for the Mage level, this is what I need for Air Surge. So it's kind of cool. I have my first Surge spell. Although I don't think it really would matter because my staff is only level 75. I really don't know if that um, makes my damage cap at 75 or not. I don't really know how it works anymore. But regardless, it might be a cool thing to have. And finally, my Slayer level, which is now high enough for Desert Strike Worms. It's finally time to go camp for that focus site. Shit, I forgot. I should be using Simona for the better chance of Strike Worms. But here I am using Duradel again. <sighs> oh well. Fire Giants are a nice task. It'll be quick. I'll just hopefully remember to do Simona from now on. 
I'm also nearing my 50th task, which I, of course, will use on uh, Duradel or maybe even Curadel, which um, I need to get that pesky 110 combat first. I'm at 109. Anyway, though, guys, I'm going to be working on Slayer for the foreseeable future. Maybe shoot for 80 pretty soon, but I think this is a good time to stop for the video. I did a lot of stuff. You know, we finished Recipe for Disaster. That's that's enough in its own right. But looking at my stats, we are at 1990 total, which honestly was not a huge jump from last time, but we jumped a lot of quest points. We're also super close to that 2000 total mark, which I will definitely hit uh, next time. Regardless, though, I am super excited to be doing While Guthix Sleeps in the future. I just need 270 quest points, which we're at 231, I think is what that is. But with that, guys... If you want to talk to me in-game, join my friend's chat, Fat Nooblet. Also, check out my links in the description where you can find my Twitch, where I do my live streams, my Twitter, my Patreon, and my Discord server. I definitely recommend checking those things out. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.